This is what everybody wants. This is what everybody needs. And the new manifestation of the spirit is coming. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. The Father if this isn't your first time here and these messages are a blessing to you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, it doesn't matter what your situation is, the word still works. Thank God the word still works. You might be waking up in a bad situation. The word still works. It didn't get broken in every promise of god there's another side of that promise on this side you might read the promise that says by jesus stripes i was healed but on the other side of that promise you are healed on this side of the scripture it might say the blessing of the lord makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it but on the other side of that scripture the blessing of the lord has made you rich and added no sorrow to it so there's another side of scripture and on the other side of that scripture when you go through it to the other side you're in the kingdom of God and what's in the kingdom of God abundance prosperity healing health whatever you need and it's not an imaginary kingdom it's just not something that you made up something you imagine it's an actual place it's an actual kingdom with things in it it's an ever present reality that you can access and walk in accessing the powers of the world to come causes you to be healed in this realm it causes you to be prosperous from the kingdom of heaven in this realm Romans chapter 14 verse 17 for the kingdom of God is and God's just talking about a fictional thing here no the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness peace and joy where in the Holy Ghost so the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost say that the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost it's not imaginary is the Holy Ghost imaginary well I guarantee you he's not it's an actual kingdom where the angels move and do things and the powers of the world to come we'll talk about that in a minute but it's an actual kingdom the domain of the Holy Ghost it's there it exists it has all of those things that you need but you might not be able to access it yet simply because you don't know how to doesn't mean it's not real doesn't mean it's not there doesn't mean it's not available to you say available to me but just because you don't know how to how to get it or access it doesn't mean it's not real but God gave you a gift and part of its coming through this ministry God gave you the gift and the gift is the ability to access it and you access it by saying say I access it by saying and you learn by doing it say I learn how to do it by doing it what if I don't do it some things you have to do in order to get the revelation of what's actually going on and people who do it get blessed they're doers of the word well I said it for five minutes I said the scriptures for five minutes well okay that's good but have you said it until the manifestation have you said the scripture unto having it manifest in your life if you haven't you haven't done it long enough and it's gonna take more than five minutes prove me wrong 
prove me wrong take a verse of scripture a promise and go from this side of it to the other side of it where you have the manifestation you won't prove me wrong you'll prove me right but this message isn't for everyone especially this message tonight isn't for everyone it requires you to have bought into certain truths and if you haven't purchased those certain truths you won't be able to go where I'm talking about you need to buy the fact that Jesus isn't here Jesus is in heaven at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost into the earth so where's the Holy Ghost he's in the earth with me right now I bought it I've bought into that truth he's the spirit of truth then you have to understand that it's the way we walk with him is by speaking in agreement with his word whose word the word of the Holy Ghost these are truths that you will have to have bought into or bought to be able to go where I'm talking about in this message that's why it's not for everyone people who have bought this partners of this ministry we are going on I'm called to take you there I hope you can hear that Psalms chapter 118 verse 5 I called upon the Lord in distress and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place I'm taking you to the large place here with the ears of your spirit and we will go there together it's a large place it's not a tight place it's not a stingy place it's a place where you could do things you couldn't do before and live in a way that you couldn't live before and these things are available to you but you got to go and be set in the large place I called upon the Lord in distress in distress means a tight place a narrow place a place where you're under pressure you ever been there the Lord answered me and set me in a large place a large place means a place of freedom a, a place a place that's much bigger than that little place you were in before a place of abundance so you got delivered from that place of tightness might have been mentally small mindedness or tight spot of money you ever been have you ever heard the phrase the money is tight what's the opposite of that the money is not tight you have more than enough that's abundance how about a tight economy the economy is tight but over here in this large place and we're going to be talking about the kingdom it's a place where it's not a tight economy do you suppose God has a tight economy so I called upon the Lord the Lord of what the Lord of that kingdom we're talking about remember the kingdom of God is in righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the Lord of he's the Lord of the kingdom so I called upon the Lord and the Lord answered me who's the Lord that answered you and set you in and this is where you're gonna have to get a grip on this that's why I said this message isn't for everyone there are certain things you're gonna have to have bought into already to be able to go to this place that I'm taking you to tonight the Lord answered me who answered you second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is the veil taken away that spirit now the Lord is that spirit now the Lord is that spirit I called upon the Lord who did I call upon that spirit the Lord answered me and set me in a large place a place of freedom now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is 
freedom or liberty a large place a kingdom that's not bound by the tightness of the supposed reality that you're in right now now the Lord is the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the one who answers you and he answers you from that kingdom that he's the Lord over does that make sense and he sets you in a large place so if I call we'll get into this in a minute if I call upon the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today he's gonna answer me and set me in a large place it will be a place that's his he's gonna give you things that are his well the fact is there is a whole kingdom and I hope you can hear this there is a whole kingdom in here well I'm taking you someplace that others can't go in fact the Holy Ghost told me that they would not go here this place where the Holy Ghost is Lord and the reason is they won't worship him as Lord so they can't go here how do we call upon the Holy Ghost by saying I called upon the Lord so I was saying I called upon the yeah, that's how you call upon the Holy Ghost right again people can't go to where we're going tonight without some basic things that they've already bought one is that the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth today now the Lord is and number two you walk with him by saying words I called upon the Lord the Holy Ghost calling say calling what is calling you ever call somebody and not say anything what are you just gonna breathe on the phone I don't think so you call them by saying when you say when you say a verse of Scripture when you quote a promise of God you are calling upon the Lord the Holy Ghost well we know how to call upon the Lord the Holy Ghost and we know who we're calling upon when we're doing it what good is that well the whole kingdom is in there there's a whole kingdom in there there's a whole kingdom in there in where in calling upon the Lord him taking you out of the tight place and putting in you, you into a large place one that's based on his kingdom and not on your tightness Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4 and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost verse 5 and have tasted the good word of God say tasted this means what do you taste with your mouth and your tongue so this says you tasted the good word of God which meant you have the good word of God in your mouth and the powers of the world to come what's the world to come the powers of the world to come that would be the world that comes with the kingdom of the Holy Ghost it says you have tasted it how do you taste it with your mouth saying the good word of God that's how you access the powers of the world to come are you getting this another way to say that would be the kingdom of the world to come tasting the good word of God and the powers of the world to come and being partaker of the Holy Ghost those who go here will be great in the kingdom of God not only in this time but in the future the kingdom that is to come we will go far far ahead of many others now think of this supernatural wealth if I'm to have supernatural wealth in this life what about supernatural healing supernatural health supernatural youth renewal where does that come from who's Lord of that kingdom now in the earth 
now the Lord is that spirit the Holy Ghost how do we call upon him by saying words kingdom of God the kingdom of God the kingdom of God the kingdom of the Holy Ghost who is God his word in your mouth powers of the world to come are you getting this well on the other side of scripture if I want to get to the other side of scripture I'm gonna get into the kingdom of God and the way I'm gonna get into that is by tasting the Word of God putting it in my mouth until I'm on the other side of it are you here and this isn't imaginary I'm telling you about it I've experienced it I experience it regularly these things are true and they happen when you happen to happen them first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who when you die and go to heaven gives us richly all things to enjoy it doesn't say that it says the living God gives us richly all things to enjoy so on the other side of that verse of Scripture because we might read it and go oh that's very nice but on the other side of that verse of Scripture is the living God giving us richly all things to enjoy where's that coming from in the living God to enjoy living use this verse it's not based on the economics of the world or the political situation of the world it's based on something that's certain to enjoy living use this verse you don't see it until you say it trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy let your words take you there there where to the other side of that verse where the living God gives you richly all things to enjoy Hebrews 11 14 for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country or a kingdom one that is heavenly wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God are you getting this when I say that I'm saying when I'm confessing these things I'm declaring plainly that I seek a kingdom a different kingdom than the one we're in a new kingdom a kingdom of the Holy Ghost all of this is leading up and leading you up to a new manifestation of the Spirit a new manifestation of the Spirit that we shall all partake of and many of you even now are beginning to partake of this new manifestation as you learn to speak in agreement with his words and especially as you learn to worship the Holy Ghost as the Living God you begin to enter into his kingdom and partake of those things that are certain and available for you what do you mean a new manifestation of the Spirit anyone who knows who's been worshiping the Holy Ghost has beginning to know him is beginning to know him in a new way a new manifestation of the Spirit for years and years have gone by where people did not know me says the Spirit of the Lord they had a veil over their eyes and they could not see the way they could not enter into the place that I had for them but that's not you you've come in a new way and in a new day and things are beginning to open to you this is what everybody wants this is what everybody needs is the new manifestation of the Spirit first Corinthians 12 7 
but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man the new manifestation of the spirit is given to you as you seek him and walk with him and worship him and speak in agreement with his word and all of those things of his kingdom will begin to manifest unto you even though they're not manifesting to many other people thank you for it Holy Ghost for blessing these people begin manifesting yourself to them as they worship you and speak in agreement with your word I thank you for them I thank you for blessing them and that that blessing is on them right now in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are Lord over the kingdom of God in the earth today and that as I worship you and walk with you great things begin manifesting in my life the promises of God the prosperity of God the healing of God the youth renewal of God all are manifesting in my life the right now in Jesus name Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today.